Guys, I'm so excited. Creepy Santa told me to leave him yesterday when he was fighting off Creepy Snowman. But I checked later, Creepy Snowman was gone and Creepy Santa was also gone. I woke up this morning and I saw that he'd left me a gift. Every year Creepy Santa leaves me a gift um, to varying degrees of success. But I'm very excited to see what it is this year. So you know what? Let's just, let's find out. Let's see what he left me. Oh, okay, well, now I guess I know what happened to Creepy Snowman. Well, guys, it's Christmas Eve today, and things are winding down here for 25 Days of Suggestions. Today is the last day of the Advent Calendar, and I'll be showing off what the completed calendar looked like at the beginning of tomorrow's episode. Creepy Santa has left. He's given us a gift, that gift being the remains of Creepy Snowman, you know what, I'll take full accountability for it. My bad, didn't think stuff with Creepy Snowman would turn out that bad. Didn't think he'd be, like, evil. That's on me. Maybe next year we'll find a better uh, creepy item. Uh, or maybe a not-so-creepy one is probably best. And, of course, we only have two days left of 25 Days of Suggestions. Or rather, one day left after today. And what a great coincidence that today, the random name picker chose one of the two Christmas cards that were suggested for me to review this year. When 25 Days of Suggestions first started out, I got a lot of requests for Christmas cards, but as the years have gone on, I've gotten less and less. I want to say last year I didn't review any Christmas items, but this year I got two requests, one for Sarge with Roof Lights and one for Decked Out Doc Hudson, and yeah, the random name picker chose Sarge with Roof Lights and Just In Time too. Thank you, uh, randomnamepicker.com. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review, and to day 24 of 25 Days of Suggestions 2022. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Sarge with Roof Lights, as suggested by Cars Studio 2006. This was a very interesting release because it came out in 2017 alongside the annual Christmas Wave. We get Christmas Waves on and off from Mattel. This year, they just re-released the wave from last year. Um, but it was really odd to see in 2017 us get a new Christmas car for the first time in, at that time, seven years. We're a little more used to it now because last year we got two new Christmas cars, but alongside that came a total relaunch of how they did the packaging for Christmas cars. Not like a total relaunch, but, you know, it looks different than in years past. Um, so while now it wouldn't be as surprising to see new Christmas cars come out, Back in 2017, this was shocking. This was the first Major Saves Christmas item in seven years, and boy, does he have an interesting face. We nicknamed this car on my channel back in the early days of my channel, Highly Caffeinated Sarge, because he looks like he's in shock. Um, I was never really a big fan of this face for that reason. His eyes are just so wide. But last year, when the Christmas cars were made in Vietnam for the first time, they actually gave him an updated expression that looks more in character. I don't own that variant of Sarge, but I do really appreciate the fact that they did that. I just chose not to pick it up. I didn't need to get another uh, Christmas Sarge. Uh, anyway, let's open up the last day here. We should know what's in here. Hint, hint, it's the tree. Um, that is the only item left. No! Oh, the door. <laughs> no. Of course, on the last day, we wrecked the door. And there it is. I cannot get this out. Hold on. Uh, there's a little thumb hole. There you go. There it is. The tree made of cones. A repeat from last year. But last year, it was orange. Now, it's sort of a glistening, uh, translucent green color. That makes it kind of look like gummy candy. It's working pretty well with the candy aesthetic. Um, you can see a little car part up top as the star, and yeah, it's a really nice piece uh, that I honestly quite like, and unlike most of the accessories in these advent calendars, this one scales pretty well with the minis and not so well with the 155 scales, um, although then again, I guess it does scale with them if you're imagining these being regular sized cones uh, and not like you know, cones that are larger than the minis, thus making up the tree. Anyway, taking a closer look at Sarge with roof lights here, we already sort of discussed uh, his expression. Here are the roof lights themselves. It was pretty interesting at the time to see him just be called Sarge with roof lights. Every previous 
uh, holiday car had had more of a Christmas pun name, um, ranging and varying in quality of the pun. Sarge was just, no, Sarge with roof lights. Sarge's whole canopy area here, the sort of felt Jeep part on him, on a real Jeep, uh, is white here instead of the traditional green, which makes him look nice and different, and is also a thing you could do with actual Jeeps in real life. We have his uh, little army uh, patch there, 984673 on either side as per usual. You've got, of course, his spare tire on the back. As per usual, the spare tire is just molded in one solid color, uh, not colored in, which is something I did not realize for a very long time, and now I know, and I don't know, that's kind of annoying, but it's perfectly fine. The classic 4-1-WW-2 license plate, of course, for the year the United States entered World War II. There is a look at his other side, and finally, there is a look at his base. It's been a really fun ride this year for 25 days of suggestions, and I'm very excited to do one last day tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye now. That is a beautiful hat, Sarge. You are rocking that. Look at that. I, that, is, that is like a Mater quality hat. Thank you.